All right, good morning everyone. Today we are in Nakhon Sawan. We're pretty much gonna do a classic, just to explore the city. We're gonna get some good food. We're gonna head up to a hilltop temple. We're gonna check out the river. There's a massive river running through the city. Yeah, just do some classic Thai stuff, that's the plan. First things first, we need to eat. Let's go get some breakfast. We need to get a Songtel, one of the trucks that ply the streets here in pretty much every Thai city. Let's do it. We'll get this song tail here then. There we go. We're only going like a few minutes down the road. Best way to get around. Eight baht or six baht. See, in any Thai city, any decent sized Thai city, they will have song tails, different colours that run different routes around the city. So you can always get where you're going pretty much. We've got a monkey in this one. that much traffic it might actually be quicker to bloody jog there. I mean you'd be a bit off though. Then when you want to get off, just give the old string a pull. And then all mate knows we're getting off here so we'll jump off now. We'll go and pay the lad. Right, easy as. Oi oi oi. So I think it's eight by each. How like up song kun? Song kun. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. 12 each. Let's try and find another five. Okay, top on cab. Okay, got the cab. 12 each. Signs in there must be really old signs. Still, it's like what? 30p or something? So here we are. Nakhon Sawan. Leash has found a breakfast spot somewhere. A cow gang spot. Hopefully it's going to be really good. Is it down here? Yeah, it's down this road. So apparently it's where everyone goes for breakfast before they go to work in the morning. So it might be busy, but it should be good. Oh wow, this spot is super busy. It's absolutely packed first thing in the morning. And you can see they've got so much food, so much variety. Look at all the trays, the silver trays. This looks good, doesn't it? I'm excited for this, all the fresh veg as It well. smells good as well, it's a madness though. So I think you can eat over here on this side and then everyone here is just grabbing takeaways and whatnot. So I don't know what we do. Do we do this ourselves or what? I think they do it for you. This is going to be chaos for us because everyone knows what they're doing and we're just like... Oh, what's this? What's this? The smells are strong though in the air. Oh, this is a really tough decision because there's just so many different dishes and it's always busy so you can't really look at them. Kind of just gonna have to wing it, maybe just say give us two dishes, whatever. Right, here we are. So, what do you have? Oh, so she's gonna get a couple. She's gonna get one that's all the way over there. So, she's just gonna kind of show her where your dish is and point at it. I don't know what to get. I'm just gonna do a quick point. Quick point. Okay, that's for you, Leash. Ao, Ani, Luam, Panang, okay. And Ao. I like Aloy tea soup. Me, me, pet, pet. Pet, I like pet. Or, or. Okay, I'll get some over here, what she got. There's too much choice. Have you got that one, Leish? Okay, um, I'll... Okay, I'll any. Okay, we'll just get a lab move. Okay, couple cup. Right. Hectic business. How do you pay afterwards? What do we pay now? I don't know. We'll find out though. I'm guessing you pay afterwards. So it's a little eating area. Oh, here, really, look at this. We can sit. What are they doing? The washing up. That's a big serving as well, that. So I just crumbled under the pressure a big time. I had no idea what to get. You saw how much choice there is there and how busy it is. Like, you've got like seven people behind you and you just panic. So I got a Penang curry and a lab mo, a minced pork salad, spicy salad, meat salad. They say meat salad, it's as far from a salad you can get in life, but it's, it's always really good. So yeah, there we go. And then Leash got 
a mystery dish of chicken. I don't know what it is. There's some kaffir lime in there. And then some of the like, is it like pickled turnip and egg mash up? And then we've got the waters. And let's here we've got the uh, fish sauce with the chilies in. Do you want to throw some of that on top? Look at that. that is a huge it's a massive portion, isn't it? No. So it's chicken, panangai. Wait. Look at that, that is a proper mountain of food. That is a serving, that. That is a breakfast. So I'll just try it super quick. Which are the labmu. Which actually looks alright to be fair. Yeah, it's good. Oh, I like it. Like a spicy cold meat salad. It's actually got quite a kick to it as well, that's good. And they got the Penang, just like a classic curry. Get some of that chicken off. Let's try that with some rice. Both up. Quite good. You can never go wrong in a cow gang spot anywhere in Thailand. That's such a big portion. Wow. And then Leash has got those two dishes. How are they? Good. So this is, I don't know if it's normally like turnip or, but this one tastes a bit like bamboo. It's really good, a little bit salty. And then this one's quite spicy. That one looks really good. So it's chicken. I mean, it's yeah, it's got lots of kaffir lime in it as well. It's really good. Spicy. Spicy. Really tasty. Oh, Perfect. Let's finish this off now. That's called water to go, we haven't been. Now a great thing about all these little eating spots in Thailand is there's always water. Free water. So you're not going to be dehydrated. Oh, that was really hard to do when I did, so I'm trying to concentrate. I'm going to spill this everywhere. Oh, there we go. So you can't, can't go wrong with it. Hydrated. Hello, Mac. Hello. Very good. Mm. The mag, very good, very good. Is yours good? Aloha. 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 Yeah, everyone's happy. Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going here, don't we? Beautiful. Beautiful. Soy. Oh, cup and cup. So the leash is beautiful. <laughs> what is your name? Kunchu Alaika. One lopi yak leg. One lopi yak leg. One lopi yak leg. Oh, that's very hard to say. Can I just say one lop? Yeah, one lop. One lop. One lop. Okay, Yindi. Come to Ellis. 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 Two alang kap. Da. Da. Oh, okay, okay. Yindi to Ellis. One yak. One leg. One lopi yak leg. One lopi yak leg. Oh, okay. Okay, now hope six. 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 I don't know how to do it. I guess you're in general, I don't know how to do it. Should we go and pair? Yes. Okay. Shall we go and pair? Goodbye. Hop and cap. Let's neck this water actually before we go. Right, how much do you reckon that were? I reckon about 50 baht, but we're going to find out. Characters, yeah. So I'll tell you a little story about that geezer we were just chatting to. He's got like no teeth, right? And then Leash saw him put about three tablespoons of sugar on his plate of food. On catfish. It was on top of catfish. It was like, I was like, at first I thought, shit, that's salt. No. Sugar. Sugar. <laughs> so maybe that's why he has no teeth. Either way, he's a flipping legend. It's really nice here though. Everyone just sits in that spot. No one knows each other. Everyone's just having a bit of a chat. It's nice, isn't it? How like? 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 How like
Okay, wow, that's very good. Oh, D Mark, my thing. Oh, go for cup. So, Lung Lung Tan, Sam Sibad. Oh, wow, 30 Sam Sibad. Wow, that's very good. 30 baht a plate, that is fantastic. Oh, okay, my own cup. Okay, 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 go for cup. 30 baht, that might be the cheapest cow gang spot we've ever been to for two for two two different dishes on the rice. And yeah, it was you saw it, it was a mountain of food. Wow. That's really good and everyone's really nice. First impressions of Nakon Sawan. People are chill. Maybe we should just check out the lake in town super quick. While we're here, it'd be rude not to. And then I think we're gonna go and check out the temple on the hill overlooking the city. But you can see there's all kinds of stuff being sold here. This is like a little street, like a trade street. We've got fruit, veg, loads of different food shops, people selling snacks. We'll head in here if we can find a way in. It's one of them where it's like a fence all the way around the park. And we don't know where the entrance is. Maybe it's the other way. Maybe we have to go back. But the hell, they make it impossible to find the entrance to these type places. This is it. Look at this, this little slither of a door doorway look at that so this seems to be again absolute classic Thai style a lake park smack bang in the middle of the city where in the mornings and evenings everyone comes to walk and run as you can see everyone's doing their daily exercise so we'll just have a quick look because to be fair it looks quite nice I'm just gonna have a peek over here See what it's like the sky looks quite clear today oh yeah you can see where we're gonna go right this is good so if you look behind that giant horrible ugly building that is really ugly what who put that there on the right there's a temple on the hill and then up there there's another one i think we'll go up to the biggest one eh? so that's where we're gonna go if we can get there because we're not gonna walk it'll take about an hour but this is quite nice you see we've got this giant lake Quite a nice view actually. Because we've got we've got the little mountains, you know, it's alright. It's nice, it's peaceful. <sighs> Come here and feed fish if you want, can't you? I can see them, they're coming over, they've smelt me. They know there's a generous Englishman in town who loves to feed fish. Right, let's go, hard enough. What's that? You got a fancy gym membership? <laughs> Put that in the flipping bin. This is what you want. Check this out. Proper Thai gym in the park. Oh, there we go. Is it heavy? Yeah. <laughs> it's not even either. So what have we got? We've got like a flipping, some type of mad bench press. But these are the best, they're like cemented weights. Let's pick it up, let's see how heavy it is. Oh, it's not that heavy. Oh, it isn't even. It's not even, is it? Quite heavy though. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, you could do a proper workout with that. <laughs> well, don't worry because if that's too heavy, there's a pile over here. That they've made? Of, um, various other weights. <laughs> yeah, they're very organised as well, as you can see, just <laughs> thrown on top of each other. That's the um, a gym owner's worst nightmare. I'll tell you what, I shouldn't have picked that up. I think I've pulled my back. I can't believe we pretend to like that food and then after we stop filming we go and eat 7-Eleven. Alicia is all about pretending so then people like us. Way! Way! So what do you have? We don't actually ever take these just because we never really get a decent price on them but we may as well ask. So what do you have? Are you not whack kitty wong? I can I can I can I can I can I I can I can I can I can I can I can I a grab bike's like 40 baht. I mean, we don't use grab, but... 
ไม่ไม่เอาไม่เอาแต่แพงมากแพงมากไม่ได้ไเฮ้ยขึ้นใจราคาเท่าไหร่ไม่เอาไม่เอาไม่เป็นไรครับเพื่อเวียดเมฆเขียนตบตับตัวเดียวสองอะไรนะ Try our best though. That's all that counts. We'll try a look with a song tail. Buddy, cup. Do you go to Wat Kiri Wong? Ah. Oh, okay. Come on, cup. Right. That was a resounding nod. So this is definitely going in the right direction. I'm guessing it's just gonna let us know when we're near. Right. So yeah, song tail's tough, but reliable way of getting around. And it's always fun to be fair because any open air mode of transport is entertaining. Just hanging off the back. It's just better and it's better than the air conditioned car. Shit, my mate behind us traveling is stamp. Sat down in a little thing. ยี่สิบสี่เดี๋ยวซ่องเท่าอีสโอวิสเปอร์ป่ะขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเค so we're not quite there we gotta do a bit of walking to the bottom of the hill and then we're even gonna have to just walk up in the fucking blazing heat or maybe some kind person's going up in a truck or a bike that'll that'll take us up we'll see so we gotta go down here oh bloody hell so that's where we're going, Temple, all the way on the top of that hill. And that is far away. It's quite high up. Oh, hopefully someone's going to take us up or we're going to be walking. We'll get water. At least she's just gone in here to grab an ice cold water so we don't die. Got from the cab? There we go. Five back water, bloody hell. We go through Wat, Wat Kiri Wong. Oh, are we going to have to walk? Oh. <laughs> เอ่อใกล้พอสมควรประมาณก็ใกล้พอสมควรประมาณโลนี่น่าจะได้โอเคโอเคโอ้ฉันเลยฮอลล์มากโอ้เป็นแค่นี้นะครับใช่โอ้
Everyone gets back or walks down. Okay. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. i I'm stuck. 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 That. Sitting on that bike, and there he goes into the wind. Our savior 50 baht for two people, not too bad. I do like always supporting the motorbike taxi men, not the apps ever. Always just like either an actual taxi or the men because they're on like every street corner ever, or always outside restaurants because they're always eating. So we'll check this out. Here she is, the golden cherry on top of the hill that you can see from everywhere in Nakon Sawan. So we're going to take a look and take a look at the views because look, wow, can you see that, the mountains and the city? We'll have a look around, I'm just going to say, there's also an observation tower up there, I don't know if it's open anymore but I think you could go up that, a bit of a skywalk for a view. Let's get in the shade, how about that? It's very, very nice though. I mean, all Thai temples, cherries are nice, but this one's really nice. And the views are nice as well. So and not everything is just flat. Flat. You can see the river going through, little lakes. But the air quality, right, isn't very good. We've noticed on this trip in the summer season, which is like the peak season, it's a bit smoggy. Check out the views from up here at the Chedi, it's really impressive to be fair. You can see over the whole city of Nakhon Sawan. And then there's just the odd mountain sticking up. We've got some big mountains over there and then just, yeah, just the odd one. It is quite flat. Got some more temples, pagodas on the hill. I will just say though, it is a bit smoggy, a bit hazy. And I think that's just what it's like in summer because you can see they are burning the fields, you can see you can see fires everywhere. So it's not too clear, which isn't the best, but it is what it is. So yeah, I'm a rainy season advocate. <laughs> I love the rainy season. Now these you're gonna see in pretty much all Thai temples, the cocks, the fighting cock statues. Now I'll just tell you a little bit about these, right? They're everywhere here. Yeah? Can you see all lining the wall? Look at this. Everywhere, look. Now people have brought these here and placed them for a couple of reasons. One, I think they bring, or people say they bring like good luck and wealth. And then another reason being this man here, King Naresuan, a bit of an iconic chap, liberated Siam from the Burmese, beat the Burmese a couple of times. Iconic king from back in the day. So yeah, here he is. And he was an avid cockfighter, skilled cockfighter in his days. So I think that's why these are also placed here. We've got a bit of a memorial in his name. Look, they're everywhere. Really nice as well, they're really heavy. They've got a lot of weight to them. So yeah, there we go. Check out the views. Oh, I can see a huge Chinese graveyard down there as well. Very distinct Chinese graves, unlike any others. But look at this. But it's funny how everything is just flat. You know, in this part of Thailand, kind of like, kind of like central, northern in between. This is what it's like. You can see a big river there. Is that the Ping River? Lovely place though. Lovely up here. Throw a few clips in. 
That's how we're gonna walk down. I will say that I don't know what it is, but something this time in Thailand is really messing me up. Like it's sending my allergies crazy. Is it the air quality or what? I don't know, but like my eyes have been like pure bloodshot red and like streaming with water like, all day every day. Like my nose is all, everything's messed up. Chest, everything, I'm feeling awful. I don't know what it is. But yeah, life story. What do you think, Leash? Peaceful, isn't it? Something's happening, there's lots of monks. Oh, okay. Can you hear the music? I can hear them, yeah. It's really nice. <laughs> Look at this, another little shaded viewpoint. We've got a roof over our head here. Bloody hell. That saved me because it's so hot. But yeah, you can see the entire city. It's quite big, Nakhon Sawan, to be fair. It's quite a big city. But you can see the little lakes dotted about. it's hot so now we're debating do we walk down or do we maybe see if anyone's going down who might kindly take us like in the back of the truck because Leash thinks she's gonna keel over and die if we walk down there in the sun in the 35 degree heat <laughs> don't want to get cancer so what do you have go to a cup bye bye long you you go are you going down? Yes. Is there any chance we could come in your car down? Okay. Is it okay? okay? Okay. Thank you so much, thank you. Yes. He said yes. He said yes. Oh, he said yeah, yeah, he said we can go, so I think this is the oh he's wife's it. I don't know who he's from, he's not Thai, he doesn't speak Thai. Is he not Thai? Korean or Japanese? Oh, I, don't know. I don't know, it's very kind it's though. Korean. It is very, very hot. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I've just realised this guy said, yeah, we can go down with him, but he's not even asked his wife who's driving the car, so he's gone to tell her now. She might say, she might take one look at us and sit on that, not taking that. They look homeless. I, I'm from Korea. He's the... Oh, oh from Korea. Oh, very nice country. <laughs> okay, we will sit in the middle. It's okay, don't worry. No, no, no. <laughs> Where in Korea are you from? Whereabouts in Korea? Uh, me? No, no, so Oh. We've only been to Sokcho. We went to visit Sokcho last month. Oh, really? yeah. So beautiful. Oh, Very yes. nice. <laughs> we like Korean food. Thank you very much. We'll go to Korea. <laughs> You've saved our life. Oh, anyway, where are you walking? Just the bottom of the hill is okay. Say it was so kind when people like just restores your faith in humanity, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah you, back, you can okay. go so much it's far okay. back. Look, you are too big. We have lots of room. <laughs> massive. And he's moved all the way forward so Leash has all this room. Uh, <laughs> very, very grateful to these people because we probably would have got halfway down that hill and had a stroke. Annie. Annie. Kim. Kim, okay. Very, Very nice, nice to meet you. you. Thank okay. Couple mark up. Don't send me that. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a nice trip. Okay. 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 Goodbye. Good luck. Very very nice people. Very nice people. Goodbye. I've just saved our lives there. Otherwise we would have melted. We'd been sunburned. I probably could have collapsed. Yeah, very grateful. It's always nice that, isn't it? If you ever like have a car or a bike and somebody needs help, help them out. So now we're gonna go for some more food. That's the plan. We need to get Song Tao somewhere though now. Oh look, we're in another Song Tao. It's almost like we're going for a how many Song Tao's can we get in one day challenge? This is our third one. By the end of the day, what do you reckon? Five, six? We'll see. We're actually going a long way around with this one as well. I don't know where we're going. I think we're going all the way around the whole city. Hopefully we get there. Here we go, this is us. Oh, that's a funny noise, isn't it? Perfect. Wait to see where we've just got dropped off at. Could not have been any better, let's just pay the lady. A 
Top of my cup. Goodbye. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? We're looking for a noodle shop. Where is it, Leash? Across the road. I hope it's shops in. Oh, it's here? No, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope it's open. Oh, we got off. Can you see, can you see there? Oh, we got off a tad <laughs> too early. We were trying to time it, so we pulled the thing when we were literally outside the door of where we're going. We're going for some lunch, aren't we? Oh, what do you have? Oh, guinea oh, damn cup. Oh, okay. It's here, bloody hell. We did get off at the right place. It just doesn't look up. And look at this for an unassuming spot. Right. This looks legendary. So I'll just quickly tell you what this is. This place sells, for over 50 years, handmade noodles. The proper stuff. Proper handmade stuff. And yeah, we'll see. It looks old school, though, doesn't it? It's just open. The oh, it's just open. Well, like first customers in. So yeah, proper old school vibe. Look at this. There's the old menu. Okay. Let's have a sip. I'm excited. I'm hungry. It's mental in here. I know it's all going on. It's, like, it's pretty much like a bomb's going off in here. Look. Got a little brick telly. And then yeah, look at it. Organised chaos. That. I don't know if I call it organised. <laughs> Food will be good though, so don't mind. Ao Song Toy Hasip Bami Luam. Bami Luam. Tukian. Okay. Ao Sapaisi Luam. Oh, Gin Pet Dai Kap. Bami Luam. Sapaisi Luam. Ao Pet Kap. Kapu Kap. That was really nice. So yeah, um, the menu is obviously in Thai, so I can't read it. As you can see, it's up there. But I'd like to tell you what we've got, but I don't know. But I think we've just got some type of noodle with everything in, hopefully, and the um, homemade noodles. And it says it's been open since 2519, which is obviously the Buddhist year, which makes this, yeah, like 50 years old. Proper madhouse in here though, innit? Look. He's literally just opened his shutters and he's got about five customers like that. What have we got on telly? Bit of the news, eh? Bloody hell. What's happened there? Foot on telly. Oh, bloody hell. I don't want to be showing you that. I don't want to be showing you that. Dude. We're about to eat. We don't want to look at um, car crash victims, bike crash victims, right? So, our mate here is a legend. He actually makes the dumplings fresh as well, as we've just seen. He's just pulled the wrappers out fresh, and look, he's gonna stuff them with pork. This is legendary, yeah, look at that. Just puts a little bit of pork in and folds it up. Wow. Everything fresh. Handmade, everything handmade. Yes, very everything good, very good. <laughs> and the egg noodles are also handmade. But you don't see, where do you see that? Like, in many places in the world, like Thailand, usually they just have the noodles in the cabinet. They're not homemade, proper noodles. So I'm well excited for this. He's very proud of it as well, our mate. He's proud of it. Proudly told us. All handmade by me. By me, by me. In the bin. Oh, I'm just, just what, do that, my cup. I've just got a, oh, okay. No, thank you. You're the master. So our mate is also making proper yeah. pork patties, but just gets the raw pork, shapes it in there, and that's just gonna go into this boiling broth here and cook. This is proper stuff, yeah, no processed rubbish. Look at that. There's little pork patties. Wow, gang mag. <laughs> I'm gonna leave him alone now. I'm gonna leave him alone. We're gonna wait for him to make the food. I've said I'm going to leave my mate alone, but I've got to show you the noodles because, like I said, you don't see it often. So just whipped a lot of them fresh egg noodles out. And there's some of the um, ingredients he's going to throw into the bowl. Oh, do that, my cup. Oh, wow. You can see they are proper noodles. Oh, wow. Beautiful. They're absolutely flat out. Like I said, they just opened. He's got about 10 orders on, just these two, doing everything themselves, proper. Proper noodles then. You can see covered in the flour. Get on. 
these two are working at the absolute speed of light. They are absolutely rapid. Just so fast making these bowls and noodles up. And he's got to because they're so busy. It's going to be fantastic, this. Oh, wow. So he mad. Oh, hang, hang. Okay, this is the dry bowl. Flipping out. This smells amazing. Look at this. Wow. So let me just talk you through what we've got in here. What have we got? We've got some mudeng, red pork. Is these fish cake? We've got other mysterious bowl, which we'll find out. What's that, peanut? The handmade dumplings. And then underneath, oh, also the pork meat pie. Look at that. You saw him making them fresh. And then these noodles, which is the star of the show in it. Wow. So I'm going to give this a mix up and just try it on its own. Then we're going to throw the seasoning in. I can't wait to try this. It looks fantastic. So before I throw anything in, I'm just going to try those little pork patties and some of the noodles. The pork's so soft. Let's try the noodles. This is the um, piece de resistance. Very, very good. It's really clean, simple, because everything's like good quality, you know, it makes it. I'm just going to try one of those dumplings as well, that we just watched him make. He literally watched him stuff the pork in, fold it up, whiz it in the boiling water. Cheers. It's as fresh as it gets. Very good. Let's give it a little bit of spice. Let's throw some of these chili flakes in. And as well as that, we've got what looks to be sour chili. Like fermented, like some of that. Yeah, it smells that way. And you can see he's got giant tubs of it over there, so I'm guessing this is also proper homemade stuff. Now, this is what I think is, I love this stuff. Just dump a load in there. Give it a mix up. Really good this. Simplicity. Done right. High quality ingredients. It's fantastic, it's just really good. Really fresh. I'll try that mudeng. Everything's fantastic. These little dumplings though. Oh, the shell. At least got the soup version, how is it? It's really good. Like you say, super clean tasting, but the meat is just so delicious. Seasoned, like, perfectly. It's really, really good. Good bowl of noodles. Dry, that was so good. We'll pay our mate now. Okay. Go for Mark. Aloy, Mark. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was so good. Okay. Really good spot, man. That was thoroughly enjoyable. So, because it's flipping so we're going to head back to the hotel, chill out, and you're going to see us again later on in the day when the sun's going down. We'll head over to the river. Just realised 50 baht a bowl for a proper handmade gear that's so good in it that's like just over a quid for that bowl of noodles that's so good Songtel numero cuatro Songtel Canada isn't it today Songtel Canada Oh. oh bloody hell mate. He's having a quick nap. Oh no, he's on his phone. <laughs> he's, having, he's on his phone. Look like you're asleep. Just grab the um, little orange coffee. My secret addiction. I can't stop drinking them. I just can't stop it. I can't stop myself. Especially when it's fucking 35 degrees and I'm feeling a bit tired. 
but I also want a bit of orange juice. Look at that. Caffeine is the oxygen of life. Do we all agree with that? I'm gonna Do we agree with that? Killed by the sun. It's too hot, isn't it? Yeah, so you're going to see us after. We're going to take you to the river. Oh, bloody hell, here we go. Songtail number five. Number five of the day. After Numero your leash. Cinco. Numero cinco. This is a young lady driving this Songtail. I've never seen that before. Oh, going all the way up to the front. Yeah, number five, this video. I feel like we just spent a whole time on the Songtail as well. It is what it is. Nakon Sawan is pretty big, so it's the only way to get around. Pretty much. It's how the locals do it. So there we go. See that sun to go down a little bit more. Yeah, it's like the afternoon now. We've just been hiding inside until the sun's gone out. It's just too hot otherwise. You see? There's quite a bit of traffic passing by. Nearly rush hour. Here we go. Let's do it. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> right. Drop on cab. So, plan is a plan B. We were actually going to head to this big, what would you call it? They built like a huge thing on the river. You're going to see it, so you know what I mean. But. It's like a 15 minute drive to get there and there's not really any way to get there, I don't think. Other than taking a motorbike taxi, so we can't be bothered. So we're going to try and just head to the river itself. And see if we can look at this across from this side of the river. But as you can see, just walking around here, so Nakhon Sawan is just like any other Thai city. They're all very similar. Like the, the layout, it's very similar. It's still nice though. It's rustic. It's very industrial, isn't it? Yeah, it's got like an industrial feel. But at the same time, it's not a shit all. I quite like I quite like all Thai town cities really. Not found one I hate yet. I don't think anyway. For this we've got a classic gold shop. Chinese writing on the top. At least there's Nakhon Sawan back in the day was actually a big like trading hub down the river with Bangkok and other places. There's a lot of Thai Chinese people back in the day. There's your history. Right, here we go. Gonna give you a raw reaction to the view behind this wall. I've not seen this, I have no idea if it's gonna be nice or not. And here we go. Well, it's all right, isn't it? I mean, it's, uh, well, it's not the prettiest over here, is it? But we're going to take a walk down here anyway and show you this monument over there. And there's someone coming across on a boat. Can we not just pay him like 20 baht to take us across? Maybe that's what he's doing. <laughs> just chucking for 20, 40 baht. There's a Chinese temple over there as well. Huge. Right, we'll go down here. We're here at the bottom, down by the riverbanks. And it seems... There's a massive family of dogs. I'm not too sure about them. What are they all up to? Just all living here. They all look like the same dog. So yeah, it's not the prettiest, I'll be honest, but I don't know what's going on. There's like a boat here. Does this guy like shuttle people over and back? Either way, we'll, we'll go over to the pier and we'll have a look at this and not get savaged by these dogs. What is it? Or is it like a boat tour? I don't know. Hello. Sorry, Cap. Can we go on the pier? Yeah? We allowed? Okay. Yeah, it's a bit wibbly wobbly, isn't it? So, yeah, there's Nakhon Sawan. You can see a lot of Chinese writing about, can't you? Oh, this person's got a dog. Sorry, Cap. Hello. Very chatty lady, lovely. Just chilling out with the dog, isn't she? Listening to a few tunes. So, there is the monument on the other side of the river. It's quite a big, weird thing. And this place is special because on this side is the Ping River, 
and on the other side of the monument is the Nan River and those two rivers meet and form the Chao Praia River which is the big river that goes all the way to Bangkok and out into the Gulf of Thailand, into the ocean. So yeah, there we go. Looks a bit random though, doesn't it? Whose idea was that? But nevertheless, it's quite a nice place to just come and have a look at for the sunset. There's the dog fight live. All these lads, and they are all lads, because I can see the massive bollocks. Just trying to get our little lady on the boat. She's defending the boat. She had to come out and start squeaking at everyone. Now Mama's coming, she's going to go and say, Oi, piss off. Is that what's going down? Oh no, she's going, she's untying the boat. And we're not invited, sadly. What a shame. How do you feel about that? I thought it was going to be a bad situation then. I was quite concerned for little mister. But she defended her territory. She defended well. her territory and she now did. she's off, look. Look at her go. And there she goes. Off into the wind. That dog is the captain of the boat. It's not the woman, the dog's the captain. I'm telling you, dog's in charge. Loves it. Right, there we go. That's your um, sunset on the um, Chao Praia here in Nakhon Sawan. You can see it's quite busy over there, so it's a popular sunset spot. We'll just watch Granny and her dog go past here and then we'll shoot off. Maybe we'll see if there's like a market along the riverfront so we can get some good food and call this a day. There they go. Our good friends. Down the river. Sick dog that. I like that dog. Hey, let's Oskies. See you later everyone. Goodbye. Leash reckons they were all just dumped here one day, maybe like all ten of them as puppies and they've just lived here ever since. Just they the um the they all look identical, yeah, like the same litter, just just chilling by the river in the in the dump. The dump dock dogs. Dogs of the dump. Dumpy dock dogs. We'll walk all the way down here and see if we can find something good. But just check it out. Classic, classic Thai city that. That is the look right there. Quintessential look. We found a bit of a nicer river view look at this. This one's a bit more green. A bit less barren, less like a wasteland. It's actually quite nice. See, we've got all the old wooden houses down there. So yeah, we're just walking all the way down the river. We're just seeing if there's going to be some delicious food. Now, there is actually an art market starting here. There's like your classic noodle soup shops, your classic juice shops. There's lots of places selling sticks, though, which we're about to walk past, which is just like the worst thing ever. Like, get them in the bin. Why are they everywhere? Who's eating them? What do you have? I mean, I've just trashed his sticks, but I still said a lot to him. <laughs> but they're, they're just shit, aren't they? Come on, like you can have one stand in the market, but then like let's let's um, let's sell some unique foods. Like some night markets in Thailand. Oh, I've got them on, Anna. Thailand. Some night markets like the best things ever. So much unique, amazing food and like proper food. There's some. It's just like shitty snacks and like things on a stick, like corn dogs or fried hot dogs. And that's no good. But there are still some really good night markets out there. I'm just saying a lot of them are pretty crap. So we'll carry on. Hopefully this one will be good, eh? I hope so. I've seen a lot of sticks, so... Yeah, I've sticks. Got home. Oh, this spot looks really good. We've come across a little jemmy, I think. They're selling satay. So what do you have? I need satay mu, guy. Mu. Okay, so the little pork satay. Pork satay, yeah. Little ones. I know it smells good, hom. And then we've got some... What's this, Leash? This little, like, piece of fried bread, but it's got something on top of it. It's like a little... Fry bread pouches. Let's get it looks good. You can see the sign there, pork satay. How much are they? Two baht each. Okay. Yeah, let's get ten. Now let's get a few of these as well. Sounds good to me. Next door, send these little pancake things. What do you have? Owl satay sip cup. Minimum. 
Okay, I'll use the cup. Okay, we'll get 20. And any other cup? The Canon Pan. Our song cup. Okay. Minimum 20. We're on big dinner, big tea. We've got a little spot for you to eat at the back here. So there is actually quite a lot of food, and as we're walking around, there is some good stuff knocking about. And they're here. Check these bad boys out. So we've got 20 pork satay, and they're only little. Then we've got that magic mystery toast. I'm just going to try that straight off the bat. What is that? Is it fish? I don't know what it is. But it's fried, so it tastes good. Anything that's fried, there's a 90% chance of tasting good. What is it? Good though. We've got a satay, we've got a little dip, cucumber, onion, chilies, a little bit sweet, sour. Cheers. It does look good, that sauce. Look at that. It's like a peanut based sauce. Let's try it. Mm. And they are really, really good to be fair. A little bit spicy, mostly sweet and peanutty and creamy. And then we got this to go with it. Come on. Oh. My mate, the cucumber. My best mate. They're not bad, them. Two by each, really good, to be fair. Not bad at all. How long have you? Okay. Fox C, 64 baht, that's like £1.50. It's actually really good, that. Really delicious. Nice little starter. Top of my cup. Yeah, really good. I'll be honest. Just let me change away and carry on. Oh, grab men are here. There's actually a line of them down there, all lined up, getting ready for after work because they know they're just going to get loads of people ordering online. Comes out for dessert here. Yeah? Oh, is that the um, dessert where it's the ginger broth? Oh, it's a Any I like Any king? Oh, say king. Oh, okay. And this is red bean. Oh, you want to get one? Oh, no, you just get this. Oh, okay. Okay, couple and cup. <laughs> so Leash loves this dessert that's like the, the balls in that type of soup, the ginger soup. Boiloi, is that the name of the dessert or the, the balls yeah, in it? The balls in it. Right. And then the soup the, is ginger. Do you know the word? King, ginger. So here there's loads of fresh seafood. So do you have? Yeah. Which is all bathing under that ice. Look at that. It's having an ice bath. It's been at the gym. I've been training too hard. I'm talking shite. Oh, go on then, we'll get a fresh orange juice because they are making it fresh here. You can see she's pouring it into the bottles. It's all freshly squeezed here. You can see. My oh, like that. Mayo cup. Uh -huh. <laughs> and they've also got pomegranate juice as well in these little bottles. Look at that. Oh, wow. 35 baht. It smells so good. How good is the fresh smell orange juice? It's like flipping heck. So in Thailand, there's lots of orange juice, but you drink it and it's like, you just drink a litre of sugar, isn't it? Just sugar pure water. sugar, it's, and it's not nice. No, but that's proper juice. That's why it costs normally, it's like 15, 20 bucks. Well, that's, that's fantastic. Yeah, there's no, you can tell there's no sugar, that's yeah. just the orange. You know, most places do that. And I ate it, like, where I bought the other day, it was that sweet. It was that, bur and like, sweet and sour, it was that like burning my mouth to pieces. It was mad, just far too sweet. Like it's meant to be like a fresh, healthy orange juice and then they've thrown seven tablespoons of sugar in. That orange juice is good on its own. Oh look at that, that looks well good, look at that. Oh, all the fresh seafood as well, like prawns and squid. See that flame, oh. Oh dearie me, we found the Muslim food stand. You know what that means everyone? Thai biryani, cow mock guy. Hopefully they have so I can see it on the picture down here. Sorry, cab. Oh, 
this. This looks fantastic. It's all fresh. It's all proper fresh fried chicken. Look at this fried chicken. Okay, perfect, perfect. There we go. You'll always see the um, Islam sign. You know you're in good hands. When you see the lady in the headscarf frying up the chicken, you know it's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the fried shallot. Oh, wow. Oh, I need aloe mag. That is a bucket full of fried shallot. Like, a literal bucket full. <laughs> so, we're going to ask for a Kalmak guy in a second. They're very busy. You can see everything is actually fresh, it's all being fried behind them. Um, our Kalmak guy, Song Jan. Um, so we can eat in the back here. Oh, do that, my cup. Can I have a look? They're the frying everything for it. Wow, it's so flipping hot. Wow, so much chicken. <laughs> Okay, couple grab. Bloody hell, it's hot. This looks really good. And all these places along this whole market you can eat in. You can see just there's just dining areas everywhere, which is class. Like for a night market, to be able to eat in, like actually eat there, it's well good. Proper food as well, isn't it? Like, yeah, proper, stalls, proper like, food, yeah. Food. It's not just shat on a stick. Nakon Sawan. Oh, biryani is here. And this looks. So good. So we've got our seafood sauce on the top there. Put that to the side a minute. And then yeah, here we go. We've got our beautiful rice. My chicken thigh, freshly fried chicken thigh. Look at that, and they packed it up. And in the past, I always complain about that. I always say I end up biting a little bit of bone. Because once I bit one, I swear it lasts on my tooth hurt for like five days. But enough of that, we'll give it another go. And then yeah, we've got our shallot on the top, the fried shallot, which is just heaven. And um, yeah, that tastes so good, proper smoky fried taste. Alicia's got the same, but we are uh, leg. Oh, this looks so good. It smells incredible. And we also got our little side soup with, is that a bit of winter melon in that? Mm. There we go. And then we've got our like sweet chili sauce. If you want to throw that on the top as well. So. Let's try it, I'll put camera down. Oh, this seafood sauce looks so good, I can just sip it. No one's probably ever done that before, but I, I could drink that stuff. There she is. That is a plate of beauty, innit? Can't wait to eat this. Proper in the mood for this. So, just try the rice, see what it's like, see what we're working with. Really good. Really good. What I'm going to do though is pour that seafood sauce all over. Might even have to ask for a refill. We'll put a bit of this other sauce in though, because it is also quite good. Right, we need to try the chicken, don't we? I'm just going to have to pick it up. Got that proper, fresh, proper chicken. You can't go wrong. Really, really good. Let's get some rice and short. Mm. Oh, it's well good. Really good. I'll tell you what, that was flipping fantastic. Top of my cup. Kun Madak Tina Cup. Kun Madak Tina Cup. Oh, I know you had yai. Had yai, oh, okay. Had yai guy taught aloe fisu. We should have known it. Okay. How long up? Okay, perfect. 100 baht. Okay. Couple more cup. 50 baht each plate. Oh, both the, the couple are both from Hakka. I knew we were in safe hands. I'll write it down for you. Hello, Mark. Oh, hello, Mark. Just giving the YouTuber. 
เจะได้เข้าไปดูโอเคโอเคขอบคุณมากครับโอเคขอบคุณนะครับขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณนะครับขอบคุณนะครับโอเคขอบคุณนะครับ Fantastic I kid you not this lady has not stopped since we sat down she's been flat out selling just flat out frying selling like and that's proper h a t i a i fried chicken the chicken has it's got a proper taste because it's been marinated before it's been fried in all kinds of goodness we saw it we saw it the Bucket of marinated chicken and it, it's spot on. That that's that's really good. That was fun. That was good. Have I told you that was good yet? It was good that. So I think we're done now. Maybe we'll just grab a little sweet treat. But it's quite good to be fair. There's a load of stuff. You can see all these lights. It's a proper decent little walking market. You can drive down here if you don't want to walk. And everything's proper food. Dreams. That right? Sort of the nicest car colours ever. Oh, so we mag. Very, very nice. Yeah, look at that. The Mazda Beast. And they've converted that into a noodle truck, which is sick. But yeah, like I'm saying, proper food. Look, everything's proper food. Hello, what do you have? Everyone's waving. I was over there. Oh, and then we got the sticks. As I was saying that, we had to have some sticks s h o r t d i f f e r e n t But yeah, you get the picture. n a k o n Sawan, Riverside Market is actually really good. We'll just see what this lady's got as we walk past. Some moo crab, crispy pork. That looks well good. Oh, that looks really good. What do you have? That looks so good. Wow. You're spoiled for choice if you come down here. So let's get a sweet treat, yeah. Look at the sky as well. Proper orange going on there, isn't there? Look at that. Nice backdrop. And down the streets, those are all wooden houses. Just saying. We've reached the end of this little night market walking stream. We come to a sick spot. So you can see they've got an old government bus. They're like pimp town. They put some seats on the top, and I think it's a boat noodle spot. There's a little picture of a boat on that picture. I can't read it, but I'm guessing that's what it is. I bet that's well good. So yeah, if you come to Nakon s a w a n check this place out. That's a proper cool place to eat up there. Right. Let's go get our sweet treat. Gym there as well. Outdoor gym on the front. Oh no, this is new. Oh, they're fresh. Oh no, this is new. We've got some canon cock, but they are looking a bit different than we've seen them before. Any canon cock? Oh, nakon s a w a n style. They look different than usual. Oh, okay. Taro. Taro. Okay, taro, sweet corn, and then green onion. Uh, Inside uh, egg pair. Oh, okay. Thirty okay. baht. Thirty baht. s a m s i n Oh, it's thirty baht. Mix. Okay, mix. Try okay. mix. So it's thirty baht for a portion. Never seen them like this. Can you see they're really thin? Unlike any canon crop we've eaten in Thailand before. I'll be honest. So we've got a few different flavors, and you get a lot of them. We're just trying these. We've never seen them before. That's what life's about, isn't it? If you haven't seen it, try it. I know. I actually only wanted a few, but oh well. We ended up oh, a couple of cab. Wow, you get so many. g e t mag. Thirty baht. l o n mate. l o n Okay, okay. Very hot. Okay. Oh yeah, it's fresh, isn't it? Yeah, fresh. Okay, look at that. They're bubbling away. Okay, a couple of cab. Goodbye. Is there any that aren't too hot that we can try? Are they all? <laughs> so we got taro on there. These are really weird. They're super thin. They are really thin, aren't they? Cheers. Yeah, I need s a i m a p a o Oh. Okay, okay. Just different, yeah. More savory. More like just like like a pancake, like a crispy pancake. That one's really hot. Like yeah, savory. Oh, they are. Boiling. Boiling up! Oh my god! And they're actually quite refreshing because some places sell canon crop, really thick and really sweet, and they taste a bit fake. But canon crop's best in the south. Deep south of Thailand is the best canon crop. It's quite good though, aren't they? I'm gonna try and eat this hot one. Worth value of my whole life. 
Yeah, it's good though, that was really good actually. You know what, they taste mm. more coconut too, because the thing's thinner, you can taste the coconut more, the coconut milk. Mm. Okay, top and grab, top goodbye. Bye-bye. Mm. Not bad. All right, now we're talking, come across a proper little homemade ice cream spot. So do you have, this looks well good. So we've got loads of different flavors in here. That one looks like chakel, green Thai tea. But we've also got your classic Thai tea. Yeah, this this will hit the spot. This one. Oh. Okay. Any like up? Any manau? Okay. So they got lime as well. I personally would like to have Thai tea. Okay. Now I'm gonna get both Thai teas mixed. The lime looks good too. You get tea and lime. Okay. Okay. Ao, nengao, chakao, cha Thai. Look. I need help. Get the big one, I'm being greedy. So we're gonna get green Thai tea. Thai tea. Together. Got one cup. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Two giant scoops. You have to ask him, that's proper, isn't it? Proper homemade stuff. Because you pour a bit of evaporated milk on the top. Hog sip, okay. Hog sip, 60 baht for these. Both of these. I know. Top of my cup. It's not quite flip in England where you ask for one scoop and you get like a tablespoon and it costs you five pounds. Let's try them, yeah? Proper. Oh, yeah. Try it. Let's dig in. Which one first? Green tea. Chucky up. Oh, there we go. It's proper thick as well. Very, very good. It, it doesn't taste super sweet and horrible and nasty. It tastes like green tea. As stupid as that sounds, like proper, it's got like a bitter tea taste. Oh, wow. It tastes like. Oh, that's well good. It tastes like really good chakyo. Yeah, it does. When you get a good green tea and it tastes like actual tea, not tea, like yeah. crappy powder. I thought it was just going to be super sweet. Mm. So let's try the other one as well. Oh, that's delicious. It's very thick. It's like proper stuff, there. These people, right? I think get the award for the best tea ice cream in Thailand you know that I've tried so far. It's like you know ice cream in England. It's made with good proper milk. It's like creamy and thick. That's, That's what it's, what it's like. like, and it's like thick. Yeah, it's not. Oh, I'm, I'm very, I'm really happy. These people should be. It's all nice. Sorry, my brain didn't work. Sometimes it don't work. Everyone have a camera on. We're all human. No one is perfect. Except my dog. My dog's pretty perfect. My dog's beautiful. I might actually put a picture in my dog. Last time I said I was going to put a picture in, I forgot, but this time I will. Maybe I won't. So I went for the Manau, the lime, the lemon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is nasty. That's really good. It's really, it's like a little bit creamy, but then it's got like a rubber lime hit. Oh yeah, it's not like a sorbet. It's no. like ice cream. But it's nice and zesty. Mm, that's just what you need. Oh, that's yummy. Mm. That's the best ice cream I've had in town. Yes, I love it. Bloody round of applause. What's your favourite one? The lime, it's more, yeah. just because it's hot weather, it's really refreshing. Like that. Just looking at that, right, on video, I bet you can even tell that that's beautiful. Mm. We've talked enough about the ice cream. See you later. Go to all that See me, me, hippie leo. Ice cream. He's going to ask his mum. See how long this place has been here. It might not have been here for a long time, but... Wow, I need ice cream. I it's so good, <laughs> really, really good. It's looking well good. 40 years, that's a long time to be selling here. Well, they might not have been selling, they might have had another long version, but still. 40 years. They don't just sell ice cream, they've got a whole range. 
I like Thai desserts, so if you like desserts, you're in safe hands. Don't worry. This is what it looks like to live with an animal. He's put his Thai tea spoon in my ice cream. And look what you're doing, you're mixing <laughs> the flavors, no. man. What are you playing at? I don't know who did that, but it weren't me, so. Hmm. I'll say it's someone else. Top on cap. Oh, it smells good. Oh, yeah, it does smell good. Oh. Do that, my cap. So here she's cutting up fresh pandan. And I think they might make their own green pandan worms, the log chong, I think they call them here. Which is really cool, I've seen them do everything fresh. Okay, cup and cups, goodbye. Literally just slicing the pandan leaves fresh. You can smell that, it's got a proper sniff to it. How amazing to do all of that fresh. That's a lot of work to do that. Yeah, that's why not many people do stuff like that nowadays, because it's a lot of work and the world's lazy, sadly. Anyway, we've had a lovely day today here in Nakhon Sawan, haven't we? It's been really good. But we can't end the video yet. We've got to go and get our sixth song tail of the day. Back to the hotel and then we'll call it one. That's if they even run. Did they run at night time? I hope they do. Uh, absolute classic. Song tails don't seem to be running at night time. Brilliant. So, what do we do? It's like a 40 minute walk home. Unless a motorcycle taxi man just happens to appear and whisk us away. That's what we're hoping for. Come on. Taxi! Canoon. Oh. Where are we going to get a motorbike taxi? And we're back. Yeah, it took like 45 minutes and we're flicking shattered. So we're gonna head in, have a shower. Go to bed. Cheers for watching. Nakon Sawan. Decent place. Nothing special, but that's why it's nice. It's just a classic Thai city. Some nice landmarks. It's quite a nice place. Good food as well. Decent people as well, so yeah. There we go. Cheers, see you later. <laughs>